History Month is an opportunity to be reminded of the complex, multi-layered and diverse nature of the black experience right here in the U.S. NBC6 reporter Ryan Nelson has a closer understanding of the Afro-Caribbean perspective here in South Florida. To understand black history. I've started to embrace who I am by understanding my history. Is to understand Afro-Caribbean history. The experience of slavery is consistent throughout the Americas. A story going back 400 years. Humans stolen from Africa, cast into slavery, and scattered throughout the Americas. We talk about the fact that we were all trafficked from various parts of the continent. Each round of the transatlantic slave trade, creating new chapters in black history, each chapter sharing a common theme. We had to fight for freedom similar to what took place in America. It would be in America, where Haitian-American entrepreneur Jonathan de Sorve would grow up, the histories of his world colliding at a young age. I didn't know I was black until I came to the United States. In Haiti, black is a description, right? Or in other places, black is, tends to be a description. But here in the United States, black is not just a description, but also could play a role as a qualifier. DeSorve says being treated differently based on the color of your skin was a foreign concept. But he says coming to America sparked a love of studying black history. Knowledge, he says, revealed his own story. He points to the Haitian Revolution and how the uprising in the French colony forced Napoleon to abandon his plan of a French empire in the Americas, in turn paving the way for the Louisiana Purchase, intertwined stories and intertwined identities. I am Haitian. I'm proud of that, you know, but I'm also black in America, and I'm proud of that, too. It's the kind of hyper-connected history coming to center stage in late February in Miramar, a celebration coined by Commissioner Alexandra Davis as Afro-Korean Festival. It's a melting pot, and we wanted to bring that to bear in the Afro-Korean Festival. People need to see the other side uh, of the story. Arts, music, and culture that tell a story. We, we try to take every opportunity we can to celebrate our accomplishments, to remind those who are literally the receiving generation what the struggles that we all went through. A culture forever linked to the struggle for freedom in the United States and the promise of a better tomorrow. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Again, the lyrics of Marcus Garvey, but put to music by Bob Marley. And once we begin to communicate and we understand then, as the song says, it's one love. Ryan Nelson, NBC6 News.